Hello and welcome to episode 15 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you just a quick way of changing the view of your notes. And I have briefly covered this when I was showing you uh, uh, how to stack projects. But I realized that actually there are other ways that you can change the view of your Evernote. Now, for me, I generally am using Evernote. Evernote is always open on my 27-inch iMac. Now, when I do these recordings, I tend to record them on my 13-inch uh, uh, MacBook. So uh, the screen size is a little bit smaller. And as you can see here, this tie that I clipped from the uh, internet the other day, it's not showing um, in a full screen. I have to move the page around a little bit. Now, one thing I can do is I can actually make this smaller, uh, but it, you know, then I'm, I'm in this uh, little problem here. Uh, and again, I'm still not getting. Whoops! I'm still not getting the full uh, screen. Now, on my 27-inch iMac, this is no problem at all. So what you can do is you can alter the change here. You can alter the columns by length like this. Uh, when I'm on my laptop, I tend to prefer to use uh, the, what we call the snippet view, which is this view here. Now, I know it's one long list, but I can actually see things a little bit better. Now, there's not much I can do about this web page. It's just be probably because I actually clipped it from my uh, desktop and it clipped into a bigger version. If you see here, I've got a much better view of this sweater uh, that I clipped before. And I believe maybe this belt. No, this belt is another one where I've I've actually clipped it. But it's the way I'm clipping it, which on a 27 inch my mat, which is how I use how I look at these more detail. This is no problem. But on my little laptop, it is kind of a problem if I want to see the whole page. Um, so what we can do is up here on the uh, top right hand corner where it says all notes. You can actually click on there and you can change things completely. You can change expanded card view, which card view, which is if you're in the right notebook or with your right tag, like I'm here, you can actually get all your notes showing in one and then you can just double clip on the note and it will bring up the note in just like that. So that's one way of doing it. Another way is, as I say, uh, you can have it on the top. So you can look at it a bit like the old classic email that Apple used to do. Um, so there's various ways that you can change it and I would just suggest that you change it to the way that you prefer. And as I say, on my laptop, I actually prefer to do it this way. Now, for those of you who didn't see my previous episode about stacking notebooks, you can see that I actually have my notebook set up like this. Uh, but I can change that to the traditional grid view here where I have uh, have all my notebooks showing like this. Again, entirely up to you, and you can change things by the owner, but sorry, by the name, how many uh, notes you have, or when it was last updated. Uh, I tend to prefer by note, uh, by name, but you can choose that whichever way you want. And I tend to have all my things. Uh, I actually prefer this setup. So don't ever feel that you're restricted to one particular view. You can change the view as often as you like. Uh, to find a way that suits your screen size if you're using a desktop or if um, you're using a laptop. You can change the view to fit to fit uh, the, the, uh, the screen size that you're using. And as I say, with my 13-inch uh, MacBook, this is the prefer my preferred view. And with my 27-inch um, iMac, uh, I find that the other view is much, much better. Anyway, I hope you found this little episode useful. Uh, please leave a comment or have if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask uh, them in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates or more tips and tricks on using Evernote or indeed Todoist. Thank you very much for watching. Please have a very, very productive week.